one sermon on stewardship or one Sunday school lesson a year is just not enough. If you study the teaching and preaching ministry of Jesus throughout the New Testament, you realize that Jesus taught and preached more on the subject of stewardship than any other subject with the exception of the kingdom of God. If you read the, the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you will realize that there are 2,350 scriptures that are devoted to this subject of stewardship. In this video segment, we're going to focus on conducting a yearly stewardship emphasis. As you think about planning for this yearly stewardship emphasis, there are three things to keep in mind. One of those things is to decide upon the areas that you want to address during the emphasis. Will you focus upon just one area of stewardship, or will you focus upon a number of areas? After all, stewardship does cover a wide spectrum. You can just focus in upon one area, like giving, or you might want to choose to focus on three areas, like the, the stewardship of our spiritual gifts, and the stewardship of our time, and the stewardship of the gospel. A second thing to keep in mind is the need to select appropriate resources. And I want to briefly share with you about some resources that are available at no cost to Kentucky Baptist Convention churches. And these resources uh, we have acquired through the Stewardship Development Association. One of those resources is called Unlimited, God's Grace and Glory. And in this three-week emphasis, you will focus upon the stewardship of the gospel, the stewardship of our spiritual gifts, and the need to be generous. A second resource is called Refresh, Finding Joy, Finding Strength. This resource focuses on uh, teaching and preaching from the book of Nehemiah. <clears throat> and this three-week emphasis focuses upon the need to refresh our faith, the need to refresh our family, and the need to refresh our finances. In that first week when you focus upon refreshing your faith, there's actually a high attendance day that is planned and people are encouraged to take inventory of where they are spiritually. The third resource is called Be an Encourager Tithe. This resource is specific in nature because it addresses one area of stewardship and that's the area of giving. In week one you will focus upon the, uh, the, the teaching truths from the book of Malachi related to tithing. In week two, you will focus upon the giving example of Barnabas in the book of Acts. And then in week three, you will focus upon the giving example of Jesus, who was the greatest example of giving. Another resource comes from Brian Cluth, and this resource is called A 40-Day Journey to a More Generous Life. This resource is very similar in nature to a resource that was authored by Rick Warren, 40 Days of Purpose, in that you're focusing for, on a 40-day emphasis upon one subject, and that subject is the issue of generosity. So on a daily basis, your individual members would have devotional guides, and they would read a passage or passages of Scripture from, uh, from the Word of God related to this issue of generosity. Now, each of these resources is going to require you to think about a third thing, and that is to enlist the appropriate leaders. After all, you're thinking about an emphasis that's going to include the pastor in his preaching ministry, Sunday school teachers in their teaching ministry. You perhaps are going to incorporate drama into the worship services, so you'll need to enlist those individuals. You may want to have people give testimonies during the worship services. So think about enlisting those appropriate people. So in summary, as you're planning for this yearly stewardship emphasis, decide on the areas you want to address, select the appropriate resources, and enlist the appropriate people. If you would like to acquire any of the resources that we have discussed in this segment, we want you to realize that you can contact the church development team office and secure them at no cost to your church if indeed you are a Kentucky Baptist Convention church. Or if you'd like more information and assistance with conducting a yearly stewardship emphasis, please contact us at the number on the screen or on our website at www.kybaptist.org. Thank you.